The latest movie news and reviews to see or not to see. Time for a look at one of the biggest surprises in 2011, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Okay, let me first say, I've always found Planet of the Apes kind of cheesy. I love the plot, but as someone who grew up with films like Jurassic Park and The Mask, watching a movie as a kid that had people in monkey suits just seemed ridiculous to me, and I expected this sort of to be no different. I expected it to be a little cheesy, but I was wrong. In fact, I've never been more wrong. This film is one of the best I've seen in a long time. James Franco's performance as Will is great. He's proving to be incredibly versatile as an actor, and he carries this film superbly. John Lithgow is also great as Will's unwell father, who inevitably becomes a bit of a human guinea pig for Will's experiments as he tries to save his father from succumbing to Alzheimer's. But the real stars of this film are the apes themselves. At the beginning of the film, the CGI seemed a little dodgy, but by the end, the apes all look amazing, and the performances are so fantastic, you feel like you're watching real actors, not monkeys. You end up really caring about Caesar and the ordeal he goes through, which leads to the inevitable uprising of the apes. Andy Serkis, who did the motion capture for Gollum in Lord of the Rings, recorded the motion capture for Caesar in this film, and it's a test to just how amazing he is at his craft. This isn't like watching Avatar or Beowulf. This is like watching monkeys at the zoo. It's truly amazing to see. There are also some great nods to the original film with newspaper articles about the first man mission to Mars and also a very funny little scene with Caesar building a model of the Statue of Liberty and a certain phrase uttered by one character to Caesar that was met with cheers in the screening I attended. The only things that really bugged me were the manager of the animal shelter that Caesar was sent to, played by Brian Cox and his overly cruel son, played by Tom Felton, best known as Draco Malfoy in the Harry Potter movie. Movies. There's no real explanation for why they're so cruel to the animals, and the actors' performances also seem a little phoned in. The other thing that annoyed me was the predictability, not because of the screenplay or the storyline, but because of the title of the film. It pretty much tells you what's going to happen, and the fact that it's a prequel, you kind of know how it's going to sort of end out. This film really surprised me. The CGI is amazing, and the cast all bring their A games, and the storyline is rich and layered. It actually inspired me to go back and watch all the old films now, uh, and increase my knowledge of the whole universe of Planet of the Apes. And with all blockbuster films, it sets itself up perfectly for a sequel. Rise of the Planet of the Apes is available on DVD and Blu-ray now, and I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. Check out more movie reviews online right now to see or not to see.net.